Today I have my client Mishka here and I'm going to do her beautiful brows. You can see that she already had her brows done by me. It was, I think it was two or three times already. But once we had to remove because her brows became a little bit reddish. So I removed two times with the removal. And now I think we are ready to do beautiful new eyebrows for her because this color is still a little bit reddish. It's tiny, a little bit reddish, but it's still um, the saturation of the color is not so bad anymore. So it's perfectly fine to do it. I will be using my new pigments and I cannot wait to, to do it, to do eyebrows with them. I love it so much. Uh, I'm gonna prepare my machine and we are ready to start. I will mix my pigments. I'm using brownie color. It's quite a thick color. I will also add a little bit of shade pro to make the consistency a little bit thinner so it's easier for my needle to okay okay we can see the color and it's beautiful for my client beautiful and rich chocolate let's start with the outline I will do a very soft outline because I can basically see the whole shape. Now I will check if my pressure is good but it, I can see it, but it's still soft, so I can do it a little bit with a tiny more pressure. So when you see your shape, basically you don't even have to do the outline, but I like to do the outline because then the bottom part is beautiful and crisp and it's just nice. So that's why I do it, but here I, I don't really need to do it because I, there is nothing to lose. I can see my shape perfectly. And why you do it outline? First of all, it's because you don't want to lose your shape. So you want to do the outline and then um, you can uh, touch you and you will not lose it. Softly. Perfect. Oh, we can see it beautifully. Okay, I will clean. And I will start with saturation from the tail. A little bit more and I will check how it looks. I can see it. But I will go again because I am using pigments with a little bit more inorganic ingredients inside. So that means that I have to saturate the brows more. Yeah, I have to saturate uh, this color a little bit more. But the result is always the best. 
it's 100% worth it. Because the color is a little bit uh, thicker, it does not do a mess on the eyebrows. Because uh, if you have a color pigment, which has a lot of water-based uh, ingredients, and isopropyl alcohol and this kind of things, color is very liquidy, it's a, it's a liquid and that means that it's everywhere, you know, because of the brow hair and everything. But if you have a color with a thicker consistency, I love it because it, doesn't it does not create such a mess around the eyebrows. These pigments are highly concentrated, so when they heal, a lot of pigment stays in the skin, a lot of colorant, a lot of raw material stays in the skin, which is perfect. I have to buy another, I think, wireless battery, because the connection between the battery and the machine is is basically not really good. I really like the color. It looks exactly the same as, as her hair beautiful rich brown and I cannot wait to see it healed. I will show you we will do correction procedure. I think we will do it but we will see how it heals. You basically never know how it heals. You can predict based on your experience but uh, it's, a, it's a skin you know. You never know 100% and it's normal. It's uh, the biggest, it's the biggest organ in the body and it's living its life, so you never know what happens. Okay, I don't like this blood, but we have to go through it and we have to finish the procedure because I cannot send my client home with one eyebrow. Sometimes I don't want to continue because I don't like the blood, but on the other side you see that the pigment still stays in the skin, but exactly the reason why I sometimes I don't really want to finish the procedure or I, I don't feel comfortable is because this really affects how eyebrows heal. Head and we will start with the gradient a little bit over here. Okay, I have to change my gloves and maybe I will put a pigment mask on for a second to help with the penetration of the of the color. And then I will do my soft second pass. Yeah, you can see the, col uh, the color. You can see a blood a little bit. But you will see there, there will be pigment in the skin. It goes quite well into the skin. Airy movements a little bit. Only towards myself. Okay. Okay. I am working on a soft gradient a little bit. 
but I still have to saturate this part, especially the bottom part, because I don't have enough pigment there, but I can already, already see a little bit. And I really like uh, this result with these pigments. They are simply different. The formulation is perfect. And these inorganic ingredients, they always look the best in the skin, in my opinion. We will clean. And now I will saturate only my tail, body of the brow and bottom part and I will not touch this top part and front part. But you can already see the difference, right? Here and here. I have to sit differently. Oh, okay, better. If you would see me how I sit right now, I think you wouldn't even believe. I am working on a saturation over here at the bottom part. And my gloves are already dirty again, but you know what? Enough. I am not going to change my gloves every two minutes because of the video, because that's simply not the truth. So you will see my dirty gloves here, because that's how it is. Right now I feel good because when I touch you I feel comfortable and I feel like I am sitting on a sofa at home and watching TV which I don't have time to do so I never watch TV but anyway you got my point and it's good and my back does not hurt at all at all and you know why because I go to gym almost every day and I train my back. So now I don't have a problem with the back pain, which means go to the gym. It's the best. It will change your life forever. Soft, soft, soft. On top a little bit. Okay, stop. I think I will use a little bit of anesthetic right now and then I will go to the other side because I want to see how this brow will look, for example, in 10-15 minutes because we all already should know that color works in the skin and it's becoming darker and darker and darker and I don't want to overwork my eyebrows, especially my top and front. So I will leave it right now, I will clean, I will use a little bit of anesthetic, I will go to the other side and then in around 10 minutes we will see how the eyebrow looks and we can continue and we can start and work on the, on the details a little bit more because my tail is quite nice. I will go one more time over here because I can see some empty spots. But it's already really nice and it's quite um, dark. And you can see that the bottom part is beautiful because that's why I pluck the brows always. And that's why I do this outline for some people because it just looks amazing when it's so crisp and nice and clean. Oh, come here. Come here. Good. Perfect. Mm. 
Now, as you see, I started with shading straight away and I do my outline as I move forward. We will see how this technique will work, but I like to change and I like to try different things. I am pretty, I can get pretty bored very quickly when I do same thing all over again. When I do the same thing all the time, I can get pretty bored very, very quickly. So I always change something and I always try something new. I always want to create something special, something different. I like this creativity and this freedom. So yeah, I always try new things and I think it's really good to do it because then you are always excited because it's something new, something special. And if we do always the same thing, I think it can get pretty bored and then you are not enjoying it so much. So yeah, we will see how this will look when I clean. So I am coming back here to the tail. It looks good. See, it's already quite a lot of color inside, but I have to make this uh, bottom part a little bit more crisp. And other than that, it looks perfect. So stretching, 90 degree angle as always. But I am pretty sure you already know that. This is my left side and I changed the side and I also changed myself. I am not tattooing eyebrows, both of them from the same side. But this side is always a little bit like different for me, you know, like I can do nice brows, but I feel it's, it's a little bit more challenging for me, even though I tattoo already like five years or so, something like that. But it's still different feeling. It's still not the same because I am left-handed and I prefer that side. But it always looks perfect, you know? It's just my feeling that I have to, like, it takes more energy to do this brow than the other one, if that makes sense. I am curious, let me know if you are left-handed or if you are right-handed. I can see blood a little bit right now, but it's all right. We already see here that it works perfectly. My machine is a little bit sick, probably. I really have to go and I really have to buy a new one because it's just pissing me off sometimes where I am in a flow of like shading, creating brows and then my machine is like on and off, on and off, on and off. But I don't want to change it for power supply, you know, because I hate cables. I just simply hate them. I cannot have thousands of cables around me because right now when we are um, working and we are recording, we have tons of other lights around with tons of other cables and I don't need one more cable in my life. Now I am looking at the front of the brow and I want to see how it looks and if I can go a little bit more down. Now I have to focus a little bit on my bottom part.
Let's continue. Okay, I will clean, I will check and now I will work only on this bottom part because I have a little bit of problem. I have a little problem to implant pigment into the skin over here because, because of this blood and plasma and everything. And even though I am super soft and you already know it, that my pressure is very light and my angle is okay but sometimes it's just skin so yeah let's go let's do it let's do a little bit of gradient over here i have to work on the arch a little bit more too Okay, um, I am not going to work on the gradient so much because skin is bleeding a little bit, so yeah, I don't want to traumatize the skin even more. Of course, I will add a little bit of pigment where I have to add because I can see, for example, here I can see that I have a empty space, but um, I don't want to destroy the skin, you know. So if this happens to you, at least you see it's normal, it's skin, and you can always readjust and add color on the correction procedure. That's why we have correction procedures. So, yeah, I want to add a little bit here and a little bit more in the body. I have to work a little bit more in the body but I'm not going to work on the gradient when I see that uh, the skin is already tired, you know. Uh, it's not about create uh, the best brows, but it's about, like I mean, it's not about creating Instagram eyebrows, but it's more about creating what skin um, allows you to basically do. Let's add a little bit over here to the front because here we can, we can see that it's super beautiful, this front part. I don't want to leave it so empty. We are almost done with the procedure. On the right side, you can see I still left some pigment because I want to wait a little bit. There was a quite of quite a lot of blood over here so I need to wait a little bit um, because I don't want to clean it I think that the pigment will not stay that much so I will leave it this way and in five minutes when my client before she will leave my studio I will clean it and we are basically done these pigments are really nice and I cannot wait to see how how it heals and I hope that we can also do a video where we will show you how her brows healed and also correction procedure. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye!